Hello again, we're back in Sheffield City Centre and I'm here at West Bar. Um, it's a very hot day, uh, mid June 2022, and I want to basically walk the whole length of the Greater Green um, planting scheme, the SUD scheme, Sustainable Urban Drainage System scheme. Uh, that goes from here right down to Park Square Roundabout. Um, so I'm starting here at West Bar, uh, West Bar Roundabout there and the uh, Fire Services or Emergency Services Museum. Um, so we're just going to take a walk this way just to see how everything's doing and I must say Virtually everything is looking really, really good. I think to get a success rate in, in this kind of scheme as high as what they've clearly done here, because this is the oldest part of the scheme. Um, this is now, what, three, four years old? I can't remember when I last came to film it, but certainly a few years old. The trees, most of the trees are looking really healthy. Um, the planting underneath is looking wonderful. It's, uh, it's the afternoon, um, so the sun's gone round towards the west, which is why that big building there is casting a shadow over here. If I came in the morning, this would be in sunlight. Uh, but the whole length is probably around about uh, I'm sure there's an official figure for this but I would guess around about half a mile uh, might be wrong there but there's still some old planting some of these Norway maples were here when the low courts that's the low courts there were built but this new one like this um, I think that's it's either a Rabinia or a Glitz, Gliditzia not sure which uh, and newly planted and there, there's a kind of pin is it a pin oak or a scarlet oak that a multi stem birch some formiums is it there it's about to flower so if anything I'm a little bit early I think for peak flowering a lot of these things are gonna flower you can see not yet out these are going to be flowering kind of july time maybe into august but already you see the odd butterfly there another little small white we've got some uh foxtail lilies and again another beautiful again i always get mixed up in whether it's a scarlet oak or a pin oak i think it's very difficult to distinguish actually but lovely autumn colour from, from that. All the grasses. So it's really lifted this whole area so, so much. And if you read up on the Greater Green Scheme, the, the maintenance is very low. You just need cutting back, or certain bits of it need cutting back once, say about once a year. And, uh, and you sort of, as you can see there, those shop outlets were pretty much deserted for many, many years. But now you've got a lovely walk from the city centre coming down here. Um, and there's people set out and just with that nice green surrounding there. So we're, we're looking more like a, you know, a kind of cosmopolitan city now that's green, that's got gardens and lovely green areas to to allow people to sit and enjoy. Look at that, is that a Circus? Look at the fruit on that, absolutely stunning. Some more foxtail lilies. Just pause that if you want to read that. You can see earlier we've had these alliums in May time that have finished flowering but the seed heads still look good we've got some rosemary 
so that will have flowered kind of March, April time. So there's something, so even though it's not looking at its most colourful at the moment, we've still got quite a lot in flower or that's already been in flower. Look at the colour of that lily there, look at that. That's absolutely stunning. So we've got the main headquarters for Howells the Solicitors. Um, and West Bar Police Station. Is it West Bar? I don't know, but police station there, I think. Magistrates Court's there as well. Again, yeah, another lovely Scarlet Oak. as well main headquarters so I think I've I've explained how this SUD system works to the best to the best of my ability anyway um, on previous videos if you want to search for them on my channel and everything I would just because it's, even though it's hot, it's about 30 degrees, it's, it's just got that lovely breeze just taking the edge off the heat and just giving some movement to the planting. Again, another positive, because when you look at, you know, less naturalistic planting, shall we say, the more formal type of planting that you used to get around new buildings in the 80s and 90s, you know, it's all very still, doesn't move, doesn't do very much. This is continually changing and continually moving. So we're at the bottom of uh, Castle Gate, Wayne Gate, River Don just down there, Wicker down there. And this is the newer part. So even here you've got that lovely fastidiate um, uh, mountain ash there. And down here you've got even more foxtail lilies. They just look absolutely fantastic. These trees were planted originally when this used to be a road with traffic coming through. These were there. Thankfully they've kept them. So you've got some maturity there. I find there's a nest in that one as well. And you've got berries. Looks like an amelanchia. Berries on that for the birds. Achillea. There, which the bees and butterflies will love. So there's the River Don, where it meets the sheaf, just under that building there. Of course, you've got this wide cycle lane and pedestrian highway, which is fantastic. And then again, lovely planting. The tree, those trees have really done well. And then that, a liquid amber and a and a couple of mountain ash and again I think I said this on my last video when I came down here Let me just come round here because you can't really see them because they're in the shade planted some climbing hydrangeas which do well on north facing walls now they've all really taken so well if you look at them along there and this is obviously a horrible kind of concrete rootless wall the good thing about it is that it's it's very rough um, and they are self-clinging like ivy it's self-clinging um, but you have these lovely bracts with the flowers the bees and insects like the flowers and then in autumn the leaves 
are just this fantastic butter yellow. So once these plants, which I'm sure they will now, kind of cover most of this wall, in autumn this will be a wall of yellow. Absolutely fantastic. So that eyesore will be covered in a major, major way. And then of course again, I've waxed lyrical about all these grasses that are planted again when it's a little bit windy like it is. See all that movement there? It's so wonderful uh, to see that happening. Uh, you don't just feel the wind, you can see the wind. It's just absolutely delightful. Fabina banariensis, good old favourite, that'll flower well into October, maybe even November if it stays mild. Again, lots of foxtail lilies down here. Put the scarlet red on that. Look at the colour of these, absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Those foxtail lilies are outstanding. And they are soft as well. I would imagine that's actually what a fox's tail feels like. Uh, some more across the road there with some older tree planting behind that provides a nice little screen. Nice little seating area. So this is the newest part. This is only about a year old and already it's looking so mature. And now the paint job matches the kind of foxtail lilies. So that's obviously an orange scheme that they've given a little bit of thought to there. And even the information is done in orange. So all this kind of ties in. And they've got these different splashes of pale yellow and this bright magenta. Absolutely stunning. And more here. A little bit more up there. There's a lot of development happening up there in the future. So again, Canary Wharf or Victoria Keys, whichever name you want to use nicely opened up that entrance there so it's easy to walk across this used to be a dual carriageway but now it's a single carriageway it's easier to walk across and then i'm particularly looking forward to seeing these in autumn these i think are uh kind of is it sugar maples they're a north american maple that turns bright red in autumn so I'm looking forward to seeing those they have done so very very well so I'm just going to go to the end of this here there's Canary Wharf it's a nice little scene there Years old, approximately, not too old. <laughs> so this is Park Square roundabout, but I'm just going to go around back this way, cross over, and just finish over there.
Such a lovely sight. More liquid ambers, so this should be a mass of red and purple and orange and all sorts of colours in autumn. So we've got a cycle there in there. Crossing. over here so they planted round the wall there around the wall here so it's it's actually into the canal basin area that bees loving that absolutely fantastic insects on that achillea there and again, I think over the next month or so, this will actually get more colourful. And because it's newly planted, it'll probably be even better next year. These trees which looked a bit ropey last year. Luckily, they actually did the right thing and watered the scheme because you have to water it the first year. It's no good planting it out in March, April time and just expecting it to get on with itself, even though they are, a lot of these plants are drought hardy. For the first year at least, any dry spell, you have to water them so that they can survive to then be able to deal with the, the drought conditions. Silver birch. Again, these grasses are just absolutely delightful. Look at that. So wonderful at this busy roundabout, with all the traffic. So I'm just going to finish off by just walking onto, the, onto that bridge up there which is where I started my last video from of the Greater Green this, look, this is more like the 1980s kind of planting that you expected this, is, this looks good though see bees here so even this kind of shrubbery planting is really quite good for wildlife quite dense you get all sorts of birds nesting in there got Cotoneaster which is budding, uh, which is uh, burying quite nicely. You've got ivy, late summer flowers for bees and wasps. So yeah, just over there is where there's going to be a new park going to open up the River Sheaf just before it joins the River Don. Um, so that should be planted up really nice as well to connect everything together. Uh, so yeah, absolutely fantastic. Mainly wildflower meadows prairie plants mixed in with the odd tree but notice how the tree planting is not majorly dense the trees are big enough and luckily they've used really good sized standards here and because they gave them a good watering last year they seem to have done really really well um, you know they are looking so mature in the first year so in five years time, they're going to look so much better. 
um, but they're not going to shade out the vital planting underneath. Um, it's not just about creating lots of woodland and just planting masses of trees everywhere. It's about biodiversity, is about a diverse range of habitat. Uh, so it can't all be woodland, but where you can plant woodland, fantastic. So yeah, I'll leave you with that shot as we get a strong gust of wind. of the uh, Sheffield Greater Green from West Bar to Park Square Roundabout June 2022 Bye for now